The Strokes is an American rock band from Manhattan, New York. Formed in 1998, the band is composed of singer Julian Casablancas, guitarist Nick Valenci and Albert Hammond Jr., bassist Nikolai Fertur, and drummer Fabrizio Moretti. They are one of the more prominent bands of the garage rock and post-punk revivals, aiding in the resurgence of indie rock in New York City. After the release of their EP The Modern Age in January 2001, a bidding war ensued among major labels in order to sign the band. Eventually, RCA Records signed them and released their debut studio album, Is This It?, later that year. It earned them international commercial success and critical acclaim, appearing on several year-end and all-time album lists. It was followed by Room on Fire in October 2003 and First Impressions of Earth in January 2006, both receiving similar commercial success. They then entered a hiatus for several years. Toward the end of their original record deal with RCA, The Strokes released two albums in three years with Angles in March 2011 and Come Down Machine in March 2013. Both received lukewarm responses from critics. They released their first collection of material after their departure from RCA, the Future Present Past EP, in June 2016 through Casablanca's independent cult records label. Despite these studio projects, the 2010s were a relatively quiet period for the Strokes. While the band was in the studio together throughout the decade, they performed live relatively infrequently and directed most media attention to individual projects. Near the end of the decade, the Strokes began working with Rick Rubin on a new album. In April 2020, the Strokes released their first studio album in seven years, The New Abnormal, through Cult and RCA. Critics generally considered the album a return to form. Lead singer-songwriter Julian Casablancas, guitarist Nick Valenci, and drummer Fabrizio Moretti started playing together as teenagers while attending Dwight School in Manhattan, and formed an informal band in 1997. They later added bassist Nikolai Fertur to their ranks, a close childhood friend of Casablanca's who had had attended the Lycée Francais de New York with him. At the end of 1998, the group invited guitarist Albert Hammond Jr. to play with them. 1. He had just moved to New York City and reconnected with Casablanca's, who he knew from their brief stints at La Rosie, a boarding school in Switzerland. The two soon became roommates. In the following two years, the band practiced and performed tirelessly in New York City. Many of their contemporaries have credited the band's earliest successes to their dedication and hustle, as well as their engaging personalities. 1. They practiced most nights, with many rehearsals taking place in the music building in Midtown Manhattan. They played their first show as The Strokes on September 14, 1999, at The Spiral. 1. They soon frequented Manhattan's rock clubs including Hi-Fi Bar and the Luna Lounge on the Lower East Side of New York, and later Manhattan's popular Mercury Lounge. Mercury Lounge's young booker Ryan Gentles eventually quit his job to become the band's manager. 2. The band began rehearsing a 14-song set, an early blueprint of The Strokes' 2001 debut, Is This It?, including, Alone, Together, Barely Legal, Last Night, The Modern Age, New York City Cops, Soma, Someday, Take It or Leave It, and This Life, an early version of Trying Your Luck. Most of these songs now feature different lyrics. The band connected with producer Gordon Raphael in 2000 following a show at Luna Lounge and made a demo, the Modern Age EP, with him. The band sent the demo to the newly reformed Rough Trade Records in the UK, sparking interest there, and leading to their first release, via the website of the UK magazine. NME, who gave away a free MP3 download of Last Night a week prior to the physical release as part of the Modern Age EP in 2001. The EP sparked a bidding war among record labels, the largest for a rock band in years. 3. In August 2001, The Strokes made their first appearance on the cover of the publication The Fader in its ninth issue. 4. The Strokes released their debut album, Is This It?, in the US in October 2001. The album was produced by Gordon Raphael, as was their follow-up album Room on Fire. RCA delayed the North American, US, release over concerns with the album's cover and lyrics. The UK released cover features a black and white photo of a gloved hand on a woman's naked backside, shown in semi-profile, photographer Colin Lane's then-girlfriend 5, while the North American version replaced it with a photo of particle collisions in the big European bubble chamber. 
RCA replaced the track New York City Cops with when it started, as the former featured potentially inflammatory lyrics in the wake of the September 11th attacks. The track New York City Cops featuring the refrain, New York City Cops, They Ain't Too Smart was listed as number 12 on New York Magazine's Ultimate New York Playlist on March 1, 2010. Despite its delayed release, and the potential controversy, is this it received critical acclaim, among other accolades, four stars from Rolling Stone, and a 9.1 from Pitchfork Media. The album made many critics' top 10 lists, was named the best album of the year by Entertainment Weekly and Time, and, in an article previewing summer concerts, NME urged readers to attend the Strokes shows, as they were touring some of the best pop songs ever. While critics noted the influence of CBGB stalwarts television, Casablanca's and bandmates said they had never heard the band, instead citing the Velvet Underground as a reference point. After the release of Is This It, the band toured around the world, including Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, and North America. The band opened for the Rolling Stones on numerous occasions during the North American leg of their tour. The self-made mini-documentary in transit was filmed during the summer tour of Europe. In August 2002, the band headlined the UK's Carling Weekend Festivals for the second time, subsequently playing at New York's Radio City Music Hall on a bill with the White Stripes. Jack White joined the Strokes on stage to perform the guitar solo on New York City Cops. During that period, the band also appeared as musical guests on numerous late-night talk shows. Is This It yielded several singles and music videos, all of which were directed by Roman Coppola. Is This It has had an enduring impact on fans and critics alike. In 2009, NME named Is This It as the greatest album of the decade, 2000s. 6. The album placed second on a similar list compiled by Rolling Stone, the same issue featured a list of the 100 best songs of the OOs, featuring Hard to Explain and Last Night at Numbers 59 and 16, respectively. 7. In January 2011, Rolling Stone conducted a survey among their Facebook fans to determine the top 10 debut albums of all time. Is This It came in at number 10 and was also the most recent behind Pearl Jam's 1991 debut. 8. As of 2010, Is This It had sold over 3.5 citation needed, million copies worldwide. The group began recording their follow-up in 2002 with producer Nigel Godrich, best known for his work with Radiohead but later split with him in favor of Gordon Raphael, the producer of Is This It. Recordings with Godrich were never revealed. 9. In August 2003, the band toured Japan, playing a couple of the upcoming songs, Reptilia, Meet Me in the Bathroom, The Way It Is, Between Love and Hate, formerly known as Zinui, and 1251, formerly known as Supernova. The band also played Paul Anka's My Way with Japanese lyrics. The Strokes released their second album Room on Fire in October 2003. It received praise from critics but was less commercially successful, although it still went gold. The album's sound maintained the Strokes' familiar reference point citation needed, while also evoking groups such as The Cars, 10, Bob Marley, 11, and Blondie. 12. In the process, they made the cover of Spin magazine for the second time, with each member receiving his own cover. They also made the cover of Rolling Stone for the first time. Additional media coverage of the band came from the relationship between Moretti and actress Drew Barrymore, which ended in January 2007. The first single taken from Room on Fire was the song 1251, which used distinct keyboard-like sounds produced by Valencia's guitar. The video was also directed by Roman Coppola, and was inspired by the futuristic look of the 1980s film Tron. This consisted of a mainly black scene, with instances of glowing Picton blue and Riptide. In November 2003, The Strokes played on Late Night with Conan O'Brien, performing Reptilia, Whatever Happened, Under Control and I Can't Win. 13. During the 2003-2004 Room on Fire tour, the band played with Kings of Leon as support act and Regina Spector. While on tour, Spectre and the Strokes recorded the song Modern Girls and Old Fashioned Men, released as a B-side on the Reptilia single. Also during the tour, the band included The Clash's Clampdown as a cover, which was released as the B-side for The End Has No 